friends. Uh, my name is Paul. And uh, welcome to A Common Touch of Fantasy. I'm a little tired. I stayed up till 1.30 reading You're Never Weird on the Internet by Felicia Day. And then I woke up at 7 o'clock to read it and finish it. So, yeah. What? You want me to review it now? Alright. Give me a sec. Yep, that's right, guys. I read You're Never Weird on the Internet by Felicia Day. I stayed up really late reading it, and then I woke up early this morning to finish it. I haven't done something like that probably since I was, I don't know, 13, and the author was R.L. Stein. So, yeah. Um, I really like this a lot, and this is going to my my review of it. So, You're Never Weird on the Internet is Felicia Day's memoir of her life. She's a homeschooled young girl. Uh, she doesn't have many friends. She basically only has her books, uh, video games, and the internet. The social interaction that she gets with these people. Talking about things that she loves and they love together um, just revolutionizes her world. She is a very talented violinist and she actually goes to college two years early when she is 16 years old to study violin at the University of Texas. Uh, there she's also double majoring in math along with her music. Amazing. And she has a 4.0 which she goes into quite a bit about how much that 4.0 and perfection really meant to her. Like most college graduates she took her double degree and she went into a career that has nothing to do with violin or math. Uh, she moved out to Los Angeles and became an actor. She started acting in commercials, um, small parts in TV shows. Uh, first time I ever saw her I think was in Buffy. Uh, she was a girl in Buffy at the time. I didn't know that was her until later after watching The Guild. I went back and was like, oh, that's Felicia Day. She was in Buffy. I was like, wow. But anyways, um, she wasn't happy though. She ended up getting uh, an addiction to playing video games, uh, World of Warcraft. Um, who hasn't been addicted to World of Warcraft? I know I have. And uh, she had a, a hard time um, with her career because she really wanted to do something special. She wanted to uh, create and she wanted to write. So she ended up with the help of a support group and her friends. Um, she started writing her own uh, TV pilot and uh, that turned into the guild that they then ended up putting it as a web series online and she basically pioneered web series high quality produced content on the internet with uh, the guild so she did a lot for people like that and she goes on and talks about how she founded uh, Geek and Sundry um, she talks about her acting career and then all the pressure she had of going to these um, comic conventions and she talks about her battles with depression and anxiety that happened when she finished the guild uh, when she finished she really didn't know what she was doing with her life then um, she didn't know if she was just lucky with the guild and what would happen now with her career and she spiraled into a pretty serious depression and she talks about that very candidly and openly and I really enjoyed that part of the book she was able to get out of that depression and uh, really work on her mental health and she's doing great now and she's highly successful I've been a Felicia Day fan for quite a while uh, starting with the guild and then I remembered oh yeah she's in Buffy and then on to Dr. Horrible sing-along blog and she established herself as a writer, as an actress, as a producer. Um, I then watched her on Supernatural. I just became a fan of hers. Um, I thought she was a good actress. I thought she was cute, obviously. I didn't know who she was as an actual person, so I didn't know if how she acted as like a nerdy person was her as an actress or 
like a persona kind of that she puts on. Um, I didn't know if that's how she acted in real life. I didn't really know much about her. So um, I was a fan, but I didn't know anything much about her individually. So I, uh, I was doing reviews on Goodreads. And I came across one of her reviews of a book I just read. And I'm like, wow, Felicia Day is on Goodreads. So I started following her on Goodreads. And come to find out, she's read a ton of science fiction and a ton of fantasy books. And it made me realize, you know, that's who she is. Like the whole uh, nerdy, dorky, quirky, uh, goofy gamer girl you know that's just who she is she isn't like faking that and and I feel kind of bad that I even thought that maybe that was the case and you know finding Goodreads seeing that she's read all these awesome books and she's written these great reviews um, I really have admiration for her now because she read a lot of these books when she was super busy with the guild and supernatural and then Geek and Sundry and she still had time to read uh, fantasy and science fiction and it's just really cool to me that you know here she is she's in Hollywood she's doing all these high profile things and she uh, she's reading a bunch of books that I like and I, I just think that's really cool and then she did this marathon on uh, Twitch TV for Geek and Sundry they were doing their start off for their Twitch TV channel and they were doing a marathon for the Lupus Foundation to raise money for Lupus and awareness for Lupus. I was like, oh, cool. I like Felicia Day. I'm going to check this out. And uh, I absolutely loved that. That marathon showed me that she is a very passionate individual, uh, very energetic and even though she looks so tired and she just looks like she, oh she wanted this all to end she put so much energy out there and she was always smiling and she always wanted to make sure the viewers were having a good time and she really put a lot of effort into it and I really liked that about her I thought that was awesome I, I thought her putting forth that much energy for a marathon was fantastic so that's why I bought this book. I love this book. Um, I give it a 5 out of 5. Uh, what I liked the most about it was that it is making me think about attempting things. Because I want to write. I really want to write. And I'm, a, I'm afraid. Um, bottom line, um, I'm afraid. And uh, in here she says that, you know, whatever... Is stopping you from doing what you want to do you know attempt it anyways you know attempt your dream just do it and see what happens and and that's the biggest hurdle for trying something new is actually doing it and uh, being okay with the results you know stop living in my head so much and actually attempt the things that I think you know, I was a wild player myself, World of Warcraft. I am a gamer. I am a, a nerd. I read science fiction and fantasy. I know everything she was talking about in this book. Um, I know, you know, I am the perfect demographic for this book. And I loved it. You know, as a male on the internet, I need to stop judging women as much as I do. Um, and thinking that the persona that they are putting out is either uh, fake or insincere and just to accept them for how they're putting themselves out to the world and reading this book made me realize I need to work on that even more now there's probably going to be a lot of hype with this book on booktube because Felicia Day I'm pretty sure is really popular with booktube so just keep that in mind. Uh, just because everyone is reading it doesn't mean that it's less good. Because sometimes we think, I mean, I'm guilty of this too. If something is read a lot and it's not super, super amazing, that it somehow doesn't meet my expectations. So, you know, 
make your expectations now. The book just came out. Uh, figure out, you know, what are what are my expectations for this book if you want to read this. And then go into reading it with those expectations. Don't make your expectations these like huge high expectations just because everyone is going to be talking about this book and also reviewing this book. But I really liked it. I give it a 5 out of 5. I will probably reread the writing and the depression chapters um, sometime in the future again because they really were good. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, check it out. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, uh, put them down below. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, Twitter is paulctof. Um, Instagram is paulctof as well. And uh, I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Please like, subscribe, and comment. See ya.